never seen that. You never seen that. Champions of Europe. You'll never sing that. What was the reaction? Um, I'm I'm purely Southgate out. This man is Southgate in. Uh, the red one. I'm vehemently annoyed about it. Is we've seen this for years, four years, four trophies. He's lost us every every time. That's an Albania flag. I don't know what's going on. There's an England fan. But what I will say is, he's got to go. He's got to go. He's got to go now or get him out. Kick him out. Tomorrow. What tomorrow or tomorrow? Get him out. I'm bored of it. It's boring. It's it's it's. Out. I can't stand anymore. This guy will explain why we have to have him in I don't want him in. it's deplorable that we still have got this guy stinking out the place why are we losing we've drawn both games no, it's like a loss you, you, like you, a loss. you won the first it feels like a loss right that's 1-1 one, one. we should be 6-0 6-0 why are we drawing to Denmark after that performance it's not coming home we, we like any pace we there is just like no sort of creativity and I mean, if we if we go around like that, we're not going to get anywhere. Has this really knocked your confidence in thinking England could win this tournament? No, because I think, I don't think, I mean, I didn't go into it thinking we were going to win it, but I think we can still can, it's one of them where Southgate, he's played percentages and he's gone, I'll take the draw, there's been three draws, I'll take the draw, I think. Now, Trent Alexander-Arnold was the earliest substitution Southgate has made since um, in any tournament game do you think that the experiment is over with him in midfield I think it has to be he's, he didn't do anything in the game it didn't affect the game at all he, should, he needs to drop Bellingham into midfield and play Foden in the 10 I personally think that the tournament isn't over yet we've got four points win the next game which I'm sure we will and we go through so you're, you're feeling quite positive after that yeah I am I am I don't know how he has any <laughs> audacity to feel positive after that performance. We watched 90 minutes of absolute dross. But it's not about performance. It's about, tournament football is about results. That's it. It's not a 38-game season. I mean, look, we have different opinions. This is why we really? love. Fo- <laughs> this is why we love football. This is why we love football. And this is why we can talk about it. But I've got to say, he's got to go. Get Southgate out of England. If we keep him in there, he's going to lose the tournament. Let's keep him in till the end of the tournament and see what happens. Yeah, end of the tournament at least. I mean, um, Trent Alexander-Arnold was subbed off. That is the earliest substitution that Gareth Southgate has made in a tournament. Should the experiment be over? Is the experiment over? Ask him. I'm, I'm not sure about that one. I think he's trying the same thing every time, where maybe he should mix it up. I don't know why he's done it so early, but mix it up a little bit Southgate would you like to see the likes of Cole Palmer Anthony Gordon they got minutes in the warm up but you don't have to put your hand up you're alright go on can I just can I just say as, as an attacking as an attacking manager they would put Cole Palmer's of this world forwards they're not even t- why is Cole Palmer not even getting looking get him on the field put your stamp on the mark and go we're going to go forward with it he says he hasn't played him on he's putting Gallagher on I'm a Chelsea fan defensive midfielder no Get, get, get Southgate out. I don't know why you're... <laughs> don't end it with that, but I do agree with you to an extent. Let's go more attacking. Let's have it on the last game. When you look at the subs that he made, he took Foden, Saka and Kane off. The players that he brought on, they this is the highest level they've played at. They don't have Champions League experience. They've never played at a World Cup. Do you trust in those substitutions? They didn't impact the game massively in that they didn't change the scoreline. Do you think that if you had a Marcus Rashford, a James Madison, a Jack Grealish, who maybe didn't all have the best seasons but have that high-level experience, do you worry about that? Uh, so it's a really good question. I think Grealish should have come to the tournament for, for what you've just said, an impact player off the field. I don't know why he didn't bring him. We're, pl- we're bringing Luke Shaw, who's injured. He's not even going to play this whole tournament. Ridiculous. Again, poor management. I don't know why he's done it. I don't know what you think, Dan but absolutely disgusting to not bring it. I don't think that's part of the question, but but them three subs, I wouldn't have done them all at the same time, but experience-wise, no, just let them have a go. What was your reaction to that game? I absolutely loved it. I think it was a fair result, yeah. Denmark played really, really good, and England obviously got some really, really good players. Do you think that, are you disappointed that you didn't get the win tonight? No, I think it was a quite fair result. I'm okay with it. Um, you know, I think 
if anyone, if you take four points into your final game of the group, I think you're in a good position at the start of the tournament. You know, if you don't have your best game in the group stage anyway, so I'll take it, move on, beat Slovenia over the top of the group, avoid Germany. You know, that's that's a good position to be in, to be honest. I'm happy. Yeah, I think the same as Danny, to be honest, actually. I think it's a case of get out of the group and then everything's a bit of a clean slate. It's very much new tournament, everything's fresh, go from there. So to be honest, we're on four points. I think we're pretty much out of the group already. I could be wrong, but then at the same time, it's a bit like not much confidence in that performance. But as long as we get out of the group, that's what that matters. What was your reaction to Trent Alexander-Arnold being substituted? He, This is the earliest substitution Southgate has made in a tournament. Is it safe to say the experiment is done? No, I think part of managing is managing different game situations. So when the game's a bit more open, Trent's ready to play the balls in behind, which he was doing to Saka, to Kane. And then when the game tightens up a bit and we need a bit of control in the midfield, Conor Gallagher's the perfect player. It's good management, basically. <laughs> Obviously, I would say Southgate, but what I would say is, let's change the mentality, OK? Let's clear the decks. Let's go. We're not going to reserve. We're not just play around the whole thing. Let's go for it, right? We've got the best team, we've got the best players in the world. In the world. I stand by that. We can win this tournament. Do you think that this is a situation where you look at the likes of Grealish, Rashford, Madison, Maybe they didn't have the best season, but they do have that high-level experience. Do you think that that's maybe something we were, we we're lacking? Rashford should have come. Uh, Grealish. Grealish. I don't know, but you want that. You want that. It, it, individual players are not going to make a difference there. It's more. It's a squad game, and the whole side was awful. So today, it's it's. Not going to be individual players that make a difference. If you've got Rashford in that side, if you've got Grealish in that side, we're not winning that game. It's something. It's, it's bigger picture. He's got to think about how we're setting up to game. You looked at England's midfield. One massive talking point has been Trent Alexander-Arnold. He was substituted off. There's a lot of criticism. What did you think of his performance? Yeah, I thought it was really, really strange seeing him in midfield. Uh, playing playing out of that normal role from uh, uh, Liverpool, so I thought it was quite strange, really. And he, uh, and he performed poorly. Do you look at England and think that they could win this tournament, or do you look at the likes of the Germanys, the Spains, the France, and think that they're not on the same level? The Euros are always the European Championships. Obviously, look at Denmark, 90-92. So I think England can win it. They've got the players with the quality. So I really, really back England for, for the win. Also Germany, but two great teams, right? And what have you made of your side so far in this tournament? How far do you think you could go? We are an average team. We are fighting. We are just, uh, as a team, we are improving throughout the tournament. So uh, uh, the advancement from the group, um, I think uh, it's just, I think it's, it's the best for us. So. Um, Meeting Germany in the next round could be a really massive uh, match for us, so we're just hoping for the best and enjoying the time. Now, Rasmus Hoyland, who plays for Manchester United, yeah. he didn't have the, the best season with Manchester United. It was a struggle at times, but Manchester United in general did struggle. What have you made of him? I think uh, Rasmus is a, is a great player uh, and he needs to be uh, served. So he needs to have players around him who can deliver assists all the time. And in the United team, he doesn't get that too much. And in the Danish team, the national team, he doesn't get that too much. So he's struggling, right? And of course, another player, Christian Eriksen, who has been on a fantastic, well, an amazing journey. When you look at what has happened, you've got Christian Eriksen's shirt on, yeah. yeah. Um, what did you make of the goal that he scored in the last game and just the way that he has returned to play for your nation? Imagine. A man, a player, who was actually dead. He rises up and then he turns this Danish uh, national time, uh, uh, team around. So I think he performed uh, massively for this team. And he's a leader, you know, for the team. And everybody's just looking to him, uh, whether it be corners or free kicks and even that awesome goal in the first match. So he's massive for the Danish team. In like that, how far do you think they would go? As soon as we come up again, a good side in knockouts, we'll, we'll go out. Yeah. So, is it coming home? I hope so. <laughs>
You weren't good enough. So bad. We weren't a good team, were we? So bad. We were terrible. Does this worry you going forward in the I'd tournament? I'd rather watch Torquay than watch that. I love Torquay. I love Torquay. <laughs>